North Korea has fired a long-range missile in what Japan is calling an unacceptable act of violence. Japanese defense officials say it may be a new type of intercontinental ballistic missile. Tokyo says the projectile flew for over an hour and landed some 150 kilometers off of Japan's west coast in the country's territorial waters. If that's confirmed, it would be Pyongyang's first intercontinental ballistic missile test since 2017. We can speak to correspondent Frank Smith in Seoul for more on this story. Hi, Frank. So North Korea has launched this long-range missile successfully for the first time in four years. Why? Well, uh, right now we're, you know, the world's attention really is captured by what's going on with the war in Ukraine. And a lot of people might think this has something to do with that. I'm not really sure that's the case. While this is, you know, it's been four years since North Korea launched a, a long-range intercontinental ballistic missile, it's done 12 missile tests so far this year. If we go back to, you know, when North Korea previously launched such a missile, back in 2017 or so, in 2018 it had a summit. Kim Jong-un, the leader of North Korea, had a summit with former U.S. President Donald Trump. There, Kim agreed to suspend, essentially, a moratorium on long-range missile launches and nuclear tests. He's kept his word so far. In return, he expected a change in what North Korea calls the hostile policy of the United States. Hmm. Specifically, North Korea is talking about the sanctions, the United Nations security sanctions that remain on North Korea. Otherwise, okay. right now, we just had an election here in South Korea, a new conservative president that vows to take a hard line with North Korea, Yoon suk yeol has come to power here. So okay. this is also a message to South Korea and to the United States that it wants to see some negotiations on sanctions relief. But Frank, we've also seen South Korea answer here with its own barrage of missiles. I mean, what is the risk of this really escalating? Well, when we go back to the Cold War and mutual assured destruction of the Soviet Union and the United States, it took a half an hour for an intercontinental ballistic missile to get from one of those countries to another, to a population center. Here, the risk is so much greater. We're talking about neighboring countries. And now we have the development of hypersonic missiles that take only 90 minutes to make it from Pyongyang to Seoul. And North Korea has been uh, testing those hypersonic missiles quite recently. So the chance of a miscalculation is really increased when we're talking about countries that are so close and the development of these more swifter and more dangerous missiles. Correspondent Frank Smith speaking to us from Seoul. Thank you very much.